Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Anime Rich back with another reaction video for you guys today, man. And today, we got some more 100 girlfriends. We got some more 100 girlfriends on the channel, man. In the last episode, we got a third member. A third member of the group. She's a librarian. She's a little short midget girl. And she's, she, she's cool. She's cool. She doesn't really talk much. She has um, a little bit of social anxiety to her. So uh, basically the main character, Ijo, I believe his name was, he ended up helping the chick out and basically downloaded an ebook of the one that she was using to constantly communicate with people. So now she can use it a lot more efficiently and just point the words in each chapter of the book and then do like a, a text to speak thing. And from that, the chick didn't say, I like you. She didn't say, thank you. She said, I love you. And from there, it was solidified, man. We got a third member of the group. And I don't know if this is going to be the next episode we will see the next one or if it's going to be the one after that. But uh, I'm really excited to see the rest of this series. It's really, really funny. Um, pretty good so far. I wouldn't say it's the top of my list for some of the rom-coms that I've watched before. But it's up there. It's, it's moving. It's moving up the list. We're on episode four. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, man, this is the next episode. Episode oh, of 100 Girlfriends. On that note, you may recognize them because we're in the same class. Holy. But still... These ladies are my girlfriends, Hakari Hanazono and Karane Inda. Yeah. Honestly, bro, I'm going to keep the same stance throughout the rest of this show. If I was Ijo, I'm, I'm thinking in the back of my mind, okay, this chick has already injured me three, four times off of meeting her like the first two days. Honestly, she could dip. She has one more time and it's over with. Well, I'm going to beat it back down to two girlfriends, I promise you. If I, if, if I was in his brain, if we had the same brain, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why he keeps her around. She mean as hell. All I need is Hakari, fuck you talking about. She's a Yoshimoto. I wonder what she is like. She seems pretty normal. It's a pleasure to make thine acquaintance. Oh, he be my name! Data I sent you for volume two she of said, Oh the happy story days, Jesus. A section with our classmates' names. So give it a try. She speaks through quotes. They're from her favorite series of books. If you'd like to learn more, then check out Ep3. Don't break the fourth wall because you're too lazy for exposition. <laughs> Lady Hanazono. Lady Inda. Yeah, you can cut the lady next time and just call me bruh or something. Get the shit out of here, bro. Whenever she's engrossed in her reading, she wiggles her toes. <laughs> Indicate how the book is making her feel like a puppy wagging its tail. Those girls can get surprisingly expressive. But no matter what she's feeling, it's always super adorable. And speaking of cute gestures, when Hot Curry is really lost in thought, she puts her finger in her mouth. <laughs> And oh, then not sometimes thingy. she nibbles on it in a mega sexy way. Hey yo, hey, this man is keeping tabs. Okay, I see you, Joe. Karane's habit comes out when she tries to brush off compliments. <laughs> it's such a contrast to her usual image. It's extra cute. She's such a thug. A hair twirler. There's enough about me to notice every little thing. Dang, Dang. got these chicks blushing. Is this a real word? I feel like I should look this up. Bus? Did you say bussing? Does that mean just? Is that just basically kissing, or is it something a little more sexual? Because her face is like red as hell. Like she said, bussing, like busting it down. Or forgive me, I seem to have lost my composure. I know the truth. You have locked lips. Is the issue here that you would like to lock lips with him as well? Bro. It is my God ordained destiny to remain chaste until the eve I reach my wedding bed. <laughs> Oh, okay. She one of those. She's like, I'm gonna I'm keep it. I'm gonna keep it, you know, I'm gonna keep it kosher until the wedding day. You know what I'm saying? Respectable. Respectable. Unlike these two. It's a okay. We'll take it as slow and steady as we need to. And, well, to be honest, I would prefer not to kiss you until you're certain that you're ready. You can take all the time in the world. Um. <laughs> Don't feed me anything. Get that shit away from me. Chicken the brown? Yeah, you? Hey, you need to learn how to wait your turn! What are you talking about? I got my chops and don't wait for you! Yeah, I've been meaning to tell you that I have an important question, my love! Would what? you like it <laughs> Yo, is this, if this is where they go up and eat their food, bro, this whole top section is gonna be filled with women by the end of this show. There's not gonna be no more room for anything, bro. After kiss too, I guess she needs some help getting comfortable with them. Which is why Rintero came prepared. It's easier to stay in our shells. 
If we were to show our true feelings, How there's a chance doing? we can alienate our new pal. Way easier to show your heart to somebody you know. What is this turned into? Hey! When a yeah, yeah. person has seen you for who you are, the fear of interacting with them fades away, and you can finally relate. Surprise! I brought a pack of cards! Can I interest you in a game of old maid? Yeah, but not your granny's old maid. We can spice things up a little by adding a penalty for losing. How about the winner gives the loser a healthy dose of tickle torture? I call it Operation Everybody Tickles Each Other into a Beautiful Faraway Friendship. Tickling me? I need it! Is it hot out here, or is it just you guys? And so began the game of Old Maid. End of round one. The Why? winner is Rentaro. This game is even more boring than I thought. I'm, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. I've never played Old Maid a day in my life. If somebody in the conversation leaves me a well thought out instruction guide to Old Maid, I probably still won't play it. I'll probably stick to my my t uh, typical games like you know, um, Spades, uh, War. But I'm curious to know how it goes. It sounds. I don't know, it might be complicated. The loser is Karane. I seriously got last place? <laughs> Go ahead and bring on your lane penalty. I can take it, though, swag. Yeah, you suck. Try to hide your smile. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't punch, bro. It's not like it tickles. There anything embarrassing and stupid like that, okay? What do you accomplish by trying to hide it? Jesus. <laughs> hey, you're making it look like I'm hoping to tickle a lot more than... I love the extra uh, detailed animation <laughs> and the fucking blushing is shit. The round two winner is Rentaro. The loser is Hakari. Oh dear me, it seems I have lost. This chick, bro. Yeah, I think you might be yeah. saying the quiet part out loud there. I'm gonna get you, Hakari. <laughs> Light work. Touch me, lover, with those big, strong hands, those sturdy fingers. Hey, yo. <laughs> Relax. What is about to happen? Do I need to skip? What? I need you to stop it right now. Uh, uh, sorry. I think I might be even more ticklish than I realized. That was too close. Oh my lord! Things were done, boys. I made it right. The God, round bro. three winner is Rentaro. Oh, Either dude. I'm the best old maid player there's ever been, or the universe wills me to tickle all who stand before me. The loser is Shizuka. Perfect. Yeah. Get these tickles. I'm really looking forward to this one. I can only imagine how adorable her laugh is gonna be. She's probably about to laugh like her. <laughs> yeah. Yo, her laugh probably about to be ugly as shit. I'm ready for it. Talk to me. Coochie coochie coo. Coochie coochie coo. Coochie coochie coo is crazy. She gave a hearty laugh. I didn't see this coming, but boy, I should have. <laughs> So, you even laugh through quotes? Alas, reality is a cruel mistress. Gave it's good. Laugh. It's a good is that her version of loving this? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Mission get tickled by Boise is clear. She gave Next on the agenda. Mission tickle Boise is a go. I want to feel every inch of his body. Hey, yo. To make it happen. I need to win this stupid game. The round four loser is Rentaro. Yeah, they definitely let that. <laughs> These chicks think they slick, man. They definitely let bro win those first couple of games. They just wanted to get them damn tickles in, little, little freaks. And, and the winner is Shizuka. Come on, do your worst, Shizuka. <laughs> Where's she about to tickle this man? Are those pity laughs? She's poking him. That's not even, a, she's not even moving her fingers. Why is he pity laughing with her? The determination on her face. The angle. She wanted to. She could let her hand wander down to the places that must not be named. She's not gonna do no freak shit like y'all. She's not you two, okay? She's not as degenerate. She's literally. She was literally. He picked her up out of a library, okay? She still has a damn library sash on. The cute gestures, even the sweet voice. My appeal relies on careful and calculated groundwork. I am but a humble poser. But this girl is the real thing. A natural born soul. Cinema girl. This is bad. I spent so much time fighting that train wreck car and I haven't even prepared myself for a foe this formidable. <laughs> the hell is a floof. I believe uh -oh. you've suffered enough for one <sighs> I haven't laughed like that in ages. Whew, I need a second to recover. I'm gonna so hit much? the restroom real quick. We gotta talk, Yoshimoto. Uh-oh. What, what was all that? She gotta smack her around. What the heck is your deal? Uh-oh. 
you would have gotten all up in there if we were here. Oh, come off it! You can keep all the distance you want from him, but you ain't slick! You totally missed out on the chance to tickle him! The only one you're hurting here is yourself! I doubt that she can hear her thoughts over your yelling. If she had gone all in, you would have yelled at her then, too. That chance! <laughs> I've never yelled at anybody in my entire life, stupid! The two of you were spoken for by Rintaro. Mm -hmm. Long before I... As a newcomer, I must stay out of your way. You're just as much his girlfriend as the two of us, Lady Bookworm. So stop hesitating and do what you want to do. I've got no patience for your crap. Oh, this is just her personality. Relax. She's just one of those intro introverted, you know what I'm saying, real closed off types. Why is she coming for her like she's as degenerate as you two? Not, a, not everyone has the same personality. Like you, she got this bit shaking like a leaf. It's just chill. I apologize. You are correct. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Don't let me walk all over you! Fight back! You ask for it! I'm gonna blow up and you have nobody to blame but yourself! Do you even have any temper left to lose? I will speak from the heart. Uh-oh. In truth, Talk your shit. I am quite petrified with fear. Well, that hurts. Do you guys really think I'm so scary? Interesting you care after all. Forgive me. I have misspoken. Palazono, she conducts herself in an elegant and graceful manner. True. She is most ladylike and possesses great physical charm. True. Linda is a beauty blessed with the face of an angel, and she carries herself with the confidence of a queen. If I were to stand beside you as an equal, Rintaro will surely compare us. I fear that most of all. Her form was more that of a child than a woman. Personality, quiet. Oh, damn. Now I feel bad. I literally said this about her in like episode three. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault that damn animators decided to make her like this. And writers and shit is their fault. Don't blame me. Okay. In the comment section, do not get mad at me. They made her like this. Talk to the author. Jesus. The difference is night and day. Hey, stop. Don't be like that. I think you're plenty cute yourself. Um, sorry for getting all pissed off at you. As she should be. She has been pissed off as long as I have known her. <laughs> hey. Rintaro's love runs deeper than we could ever possibly imagine. I am sure he could list dozens of things he likes about you off the top of his head. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying. You've got to stop holding back with them just because you're scared of us. Oh, you're my scared? God. Stop yelling at me, bro. Does this chick have any inside voice? Holy shit. Bro, if I'm Ijo, bro, I'm literally hiding behind the corner to see how this chick acts with the other two and not just me. Because if she's treating me like a punching bag, I can only imagine how she treats the other two. My goodness. I would be sitting right behind the fucking wall talking about, I got to go pee and just be like, oh, yeah, okay. I see you. Looks like I got one to kick out. If you've ever got some words to say, it's or too loud, bro. Tickled, you have our blessing to do whatever. F up my peace. You got that? Perhaps you can start calling us by our first names now. I guess, as long as she's cool with it. Are you, Shizuka? Indeed. Hakari, Karine. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, that's what that he did. Better than I ever expected. I thought he actually <laughs> legit went to go. <laughs> Carney's giving her some serious stink eye. Away. Don't intervene now. Remember why you started this game of Old Maid in the first place. I see now. Does that suffice? Did I force them to hide their true feelings? <laughs> They'll never get closer to each other. I want them to have the courage to take that step. Then I have to have the courage to let them. Look at this man Ijo with I'm the plays. I'm going real quick. Her intentions are good, but I'm glad Hakari's there to deflect some of that rage. Right. It looks like Shizuka's gonna take Karane's advice and let her wants and wishes flow free. That's what's up. They bounce off of each other perfectly, bro. She gives the raw, honest truth. You know what I'm saying? As mean as she comes off, she's, she does come off like a, like a, like a, like a old, bitter lady, bro. She does, bro. She comes, she comes off hella aggressive, but Hakari is there to kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Even it out and deliver it a little bit more sweeter. You know what I'm saying? Good one-two combo. Good one-two combo. Did you miss me? I ain't gonna lie, though. If I was sitting back there watching all this shit, bro, regardless, she's kicked out. I'm standing by it. Fuck it. Get ready. We're gonna redo that last loser's penalty. That pokey crap. In no universe as I count as tickle torture. Shizuka is ready to give it to you real good this time. Hey, yo. There she is. You can tickle him to your heart's content. Yo, yeah. I get round two. You're trying to help me. You've got to stop holding back with them just because you're scared of us. You have our blessing to do whatever the heck you want. You got that? Be honest. I'm going to take that phone from her. Speak up with your voice. You got it. I want to do it. I wish to be kissed. 
It is my God ordained destiny to remain chaste until the eve I reach my wedding bed. Dang. But that was a lie. Deep in her oh, heart. Dang, I thought she was wholesome. Dang. Okay. At least she's being real. You know what I'm saying? At least she's keeping a bean. Jeez, I can't wait. Wait, her lips apart his. Oh, it's not the head, Pat. <sighs> Sorry about that. Get your ass down here. Oh, I thought she was gonna yank him. Damn. She about to pass out after you that. Oh, GG, night night. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Hey, don't accuse me of hiding any secret desires or anything. That would be straight up pathetic. Oh, is that the case? Spencer, oh dear. Huh? Quick question. If you are not worn out, could you kiss me too? <laughs> sure. Damn. Part two. Do you still like me? What? Dating the most adorable girls in the world. He said, you tripping, chick. I can't get enough. <laughs> Damn. Are we getting a three peat? If you're really gonna be so incredibly desperate, I guess that it wouldn't kill me to throw you a bone. Yeah, this This bitch is pushing it, bro. She's like on thin ice right now, bro. You're so cute, Karane. No, she's not. <laughs> Lucky for me, you're extra cute when you're flustered. Dummy, 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 dummy. Yo, I thought she was about to sock, bro. With that out of the way, I would like to kiss you. What is what is that called again? Soon Sundere, right? That's what that's what they call it in Japan, the Sundere chicks. Yeah, they can keep that shit. <laughs> is something the matter, darling? See, I need three more. Are the best girlfriends a guy could ask for, and way more than I deserve. Thank you, each one of you. <laughs> Whatever. That is so sweet. Thank you too. Dumbass. Seems I landed in Quirk City. <laughs> she did a hard viewer. Bruh. Nice. Oh, this is the other one. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, man. Like I was saying in the episode, dog, them soon the chicks, y'all can keep that. I'm good off of those. Uh, we didn't get to meet the next one. So I feel like I feel like if there's only gonna be like 12 episodes in this season, man, more than likely they're not gonna I feel like we're probably gonna reach like if there's 12 if there's 24 episodes i want to say we'll meet we'll meet like eight like eight max if there's 12 i don't know how many episodes are in the season if there's 12 we're probably going to meet like five probably like two more by the end of the series or end of the season because we're on episode four now and we're like three deep maybe maybe six maybe six maybe six this was a cool episode man it seems like this is an episode for just them um basically integrating shizuka within the mix of the other two and how she would integrate and we kind of got to look at how she integrates and <laughs> she even laughs on her damn phone laughs and um pokes with her damn phone she doesn't even everything she does is mute i didn't think it was that bad but it is like holy crap really good man really good really funny stuff i, I i'm really interested to see what direction they're gonna go and the personalities they're gonna in, uh, integrate with these three um as we move further on further along into the season but i guess we'll just have to wait and see man because I have no clue because right now we got the super aggressive one um we got the polite one who also knows how to talk a little bit of shit and then we got the super mute one so i guess we're gonna have yeah i don't even know what personalities we're gonna interact with next man i'm just waiting to see and probably just go ahead and end up watching the next episode because i'm actually very very curious um oh it might be like an intellectual type Ooh, it might be like a big brain big brain thousand iq type that might be next up i don't know man but we're gonna see you on the next episode man hope you guys join me and until then i will see y'all next time Peace.